During the last week of October, we visited three Georgia state parks, Amicola Falls, Fort Mountain, and Stephen C. Foster. They each have their own charms, but I think we liked Stephen C. Foster the most and planned to camp there soon. I guess it helps that it's also the closest to our house by four hours. It was a cold and rainy day when we visited Amicola Falls State Park. You can see there's a stairway that comes up these falls, and uh, I can see some people down there. I'm not sure the camera's going to get it, but there's a parking lot down at the bottom. And it's just a cold, rainy day up here. There is some color in here on the trees, which is kind of nice. Get a fall flavor in here. Amicola Falls State Park. There's the big waterfall we saw. This is basically the beginning of the Appalachian Trail. So people come here to hike the falls and then they hike. It's from memory a seven or eight mile thing before you get to the real beginning of the trail. All right. Where are we? The lake Trail at Fort Mountain, State, Fort Park. Mountain State Park in North Georgia. Bears and you. It's advertised as a one mile loop around this lake. Pretty easy walk. Fish. They're all just too cold. They're nice wooded trail around the lake. Fort Mountain State Park was interesting, first because it was close to where we were staying and it was not crowded like Amicola Falls was. The lake trail was really pretty and an easy hike with nice amenities. The camping area was also good, but I had a camera malfunction, aka user error. But the best part was the hike up the mountain and reading about the mystery of an old wall that was built up there of unknown origin. I'm going with aliens from space. This is a trail. I'm sure if we get to a look at it, it'll be pretty. But it'll be worth getting there. Huh? You guys smile. <laughs> <laughs> that was down at the parking lot. Cool. We made it to a scenic overlook. Oh, oh yeah, I want to go stand over the edge of the mountain. Back down from the scenic overlook. It's an easy, moderate trail. What do you think? Describe it that way. How relative to mountain country. six more miles to Stephen Foster State Park. Stephen C. Foster State Park, International Dark Sky Park, in cooperation with the Fish and Wildlife Service. Must have something to do with no lights. Yes, we are so far away from <laughs> anything that I am sure it gets awful dark. Once we got into Stephen Foster and parked at the office, the first thing we saw was the keeper of the boat ramp, Mr. Gator. Mm -hmm. 
Stephen Foster is in the Okefenokee National Wildlife Refuge, which basically borders the Osceola National Forest to the south, providing 60 miles of near-wilderness public lands, surrounded by even more private land that is all Martian timber, excellent wildlife habitat. Got plenty of wetlands here. Oh, Rhonda, is it scary? Well, it was a little alarming seeing that big gator right there. It's, I mean, he was big. We got some pictures, so I'm sure Joe's gonna have them in the video. No, the ranger said he's small. Oh, the ranger said he was small. This is a very nice path though. It's nice and wooded. It's built up above the marshland. So you feel pretty comfortable walking on it. Very nice to be out of the car after our six hour drive from Ella J to here today. We're heading back home, checking out this park because we like to camp here in a few weeks and see a lot more of it. Yes, we talked to a ranger inside of the uh, trading post and he was full of good stories. He was. <laughs> Semi hard to believe, but but believable. Yeah, the old Florida before it was populated. Well, and it just had alligators and moccasins and swamps and South Georgia. Mosquitoes. Not oh, Florida. South Georgia. Excuse me. Same thing. But he was talking about the Okefenokee Swamp, which is in Here. Florida. This is the Okefenokee. He okay, said Lake it. Okeechobee. Lake Okeechobee. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. Lake Okeechobee. Yes, I don't believe the gators were so thick you could walk across a river on them. I can't but believe it. I believe there was a lot of gators. Let me get this picture of this bird. The woodpecker. Who says swamp isn't pretty? I wouldn't want to be down there in it. It's nice to look. Rhonda's found her volunteer opportunity. She's going to continue working on this, extending this trail. But down through the swamp. I wonder if they stand in those boats while they're doing stuff. Uh, they gotta put these posts in somehow. You yeah. don't do that standing in the boat. Mm -hmm. Got some wood here. Air compressor. Yeah. It's pretty out here. You can just imagine. After dark, there is no light except from the sky. Oh my God, it's gotta be gorgeous. No sounds out here. Nobody We're not near anything. Way. It's a really awesome trail. Yes, it is. Mostly elevated like this boardwalk. Um, several different <clears throat> little picnic areas you can stop at. Well, informational signs, but just really pretty area. I guess most people prefer beaches, mountains, and desert to swamps, but I find them very beautiful, and they are one of the most abundant ecosystems. It's really liberating to swamp hike. Ignore the snakes and bugs and try it. Well, either he walked up a step or the water's going down. I'm still not sure he's real. Oh, he's real. <laughs> oh, Rhonda, you gonna drive your boat through that little teeny weeny thing? Number 10. ten, site ten looks good. Uh -huh. They're nice and wooded. Yeah, that's probably good too. Twelve, thirteen. Rhonda 13. says thirteen is good. Pretty. Although it's 
very private here on Monday. 32 doesn't look bad. That's 32. Mm -hmm. 35 looks pretty good. Yes, it does. I love the way they're manicured. Everything's mowed nicely. Here's one bigger than ours with a yeah, motorcycle. Travel Supreme. So that's a 40, no, Site 44. That's a pretty one. 58. It's in the water. It's not in the water. Well, the campsites are very easy to get to because the road is very smooth up to them and it's very flat, not real bumpy, all paved. Oh, so these are pull through dump station over here. Mm -hmm. No, camping area one seemed pretty good. Best one, yeah. Seemed more wooded. Yeah, it's pretty in there. 